Hi guys, um, I am joined by fashion director 032C, I was about to say 32C then, Mark Curring, who's also the stylist. Uh, we just come out of the Givenchy um, show, um, pretty mega actually, amazing set this time around, normally, um, I can't remember where we normally are, we're normally over by Pont Neuf I think, but this time um, we were at the Jardin de Plante, and so I'll show you the invite, lots of trees on there, and they had like really bright lights going up and over above the runway from the outside so you could see all the trees looking really super spooky um they were also handing out candy apples which was a bit random at first but when you read the press release um it mentions the temptation of adam and eve intertwined so that that kind of links there in my opinion that's where the reference to adam and eve kind of ends um beautiful set great snacks but um i didn't really see the reference for adam and eve in the clothes but um let's talk about the clothes um, super duper amazing tailoring the, the suits and the shapes were super sharp so the first look was um, really amazing shoulders but what Chloe Keller had done is um, kind of popped out the seam like so it's extra curved and sharp and that was on a few looks um, cinched waists were major throughout this collection as well and I thought there was a really good nod to previous collections kind of military um, military vibes with some of the co long coats belted at the waist and then chains which almost looked a bit 40s 50s military I was getting a little bit of war, wartime Germany vibes there um, and then nice. really great um, <laughs> glad I'm glad you agree <laughs> <laughs> and then some really good leathers as well there's a um, really um, really really amazing coat um, half uh, snakeskin half a different leather and then the back was um, a different fabric altogether so it kind of looked like it caped on the shoulders it was super slick and actually slick's probably a pretty good word there was like this effortless cool to the collection all these girls kind of looked like it was no big deal they were there and like you just caught me off guard but I look like fucking amazing excuse my French um, some really interesting dresses as well really tightly pleated with um, with a bit of a bounce to them and they had those kind of crazy coiled hems and collars and sometimes they were doubled up in the collar sometimes they had double hems um, and those were given a slight floral print as well which wasn't a granny floral print it sort of reminded me of a little bit Japanesey but it wasn't cherry blossom in any way shape or form um, and those were kind of in the usual dark greens and purples that we get with the Givenchy show um, overall I thought it was really really striking and Claire Wake Keller is kind of killing it at the moment she did an amazing couture show um, where there's a level of kind of kink in the couture she had Atsuko Kudo latex and I do think there's a little um, underlying sexuality in everything she does there's some of the menswear looks here had really lacquered trousers which isn't new for this season we've seen lots of them but um, that with all these really sharp tailoring adds a little bit of a sexual undertone to the collection which I really like I suppose candy apples are kind of kinky too so um, let's go with that what did you think Mark before I keep waffling on <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean I can only so yeah, totally. I mean, this show was a really, really, really amazing show. Yeah. I mean, when we start again with, with this reference, I mean, the, with the trees. I mean, this is also kind of Adam and Eve with the snake coming down from the tree and that's with the true. apple. So that's also also kind of this, as you mentioned, the kinkiness maybe, or the part of it. Yeah. But yeah, in terms of tailoring, I have to totally agree. I mean, these shoulders, everything. I mean, you look so. Every woman looks so good in this in these suits. Yeah, for it's sure. It's insane. For and sure. And there was this whole like, for me was that like this kind of shoulder evolution in the pieces until the end, because the suits in the beginning had like this quite of okay puffy big shoulders and then or boxy shoulders, and then in the end the like evening wear and the dresses got this like enormous shoulders. Yeah. Yeah. Super sharp. Yeah. And the funny thing is, because I th I mean I should not say this because that's basically my job, but I always. I have kind of the feeling that a bit of a st most of the stuff is almost like too overstyled, you know, everything is like super precise and stuff. Yeah. And as it mentioned in the press release <laughs> with the effort less, <laughs> in this case it was really like, yo, the girl just put on the jacket and walked out to good music on the runway. It was a pretty, I was like really enjoying this. I was like, mm. The music was actually yeah. amazing. I had Googled it, but I can't remember what they called it. It was Mateus something, something. Um, but it was really, it was like disco remix. So it had that like, that really catchy beat that a little bit sounded a little bit like they'd sampled not Daft Punk but something like akin to that I mean it was super aggressive so when you have these like power shoulders and they were like stomping down the runway and I mean the models enjoyed the music as well I guess they were like yes yeah you definitely got a vibe everyone yeah. like definitely everyone sitting in front of me was like <laughs> yeah, yeah finally more people in the crowd were also like <laughs> like this because normally I mean I'm really into music with shows and I'm listening properly to the music and I was like really feeling it and enjoying yeah. it and sometimes I feel pretty weird because everybody's like 
like way too serious and stiff at this. I'm like, yo, there's amazing music. Let's enjoy the music. <laughs> yeah, and that's what it's there for. Yeah, yeah. To set the mood. <laughs> to set a mood. But yeah, I think it was probably more of the, more of a like more. What am I trying to say? More of a fun move for Claire. It felt felt a little bit more relaxed. Yeah. The shapes weren't necessarily relaxed, but it just felt like she was kind of like, okay, I got this now. Totally. Like I know exactly what I'm doing. And that was really nice to see as yeah, well. Yeah, I mean, she knows everything that kind of piece. I mean, also the jewelry, the, the pearls. Oh, yeah, that's I'm obsessed mention. with pearls. And I mean, this huge pearl earrings and the tiny ones with their little rings. That's pretty good. Super hot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. super yeah. hot. No, for real. I think <laughs> pearls are hot. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. And I also think it's funny that you mentioned, like, the snake coming down from the trees because there was a lot of snake skin. Yeah. And I like the idea that these, like, badass bitches just kind of like tore the snake apart and was like you can be a bag give me a fucking apple I'll do a candy apple out of give it. me an apple I'll make a candy <laughs> apple give me the snake I'll make a really good funny pack and I just love that literally and I kind of want to be this woman like I want to be this Claire White Keller Givenchy girl so we are now she was she girls we are now she was she girls yeah I think that's a good note to end on yeah. the, the Givenchy girls really like the show <laughs> But um, yeah, congratulations, Kelly, Kelly, if you're watching, and um, congratulations, Shimonchi, another knockout show. Um, totally. Thank you guys and very also, much for watching. Oh, okay. No, I mean, another shout out. I mean, also, the, the maths presentation was beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it because really was. Because it was this tiny, I mean, this little presentation just was for 10, yeah. for, for 10 of us, and I think also this. When you put the man's presentation with like just like us ten sitting there yeah. for the show, and now this huge long catwalk with the disco music, I think this was a pretty good, amazing mix and an amazing season for her. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, congrats. <laughs> congrats, everyone. You did a great job. You did a great job. Um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Mark, for coming in the car with me. I very much appreciate it. Thank you. Bye. It. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys soon. Bye.